Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run a game like Command & Conquer Red Alert on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Today we're going to be using an open source engine called OpenRA, which is going to allow us to run this older game, which was really designed for the Windows operating system. However, this engine now allows us to run this game through the Mac operating system. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to need to do is to go to the openra.net website for slash download. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And then what we're going to do is to click on the macOS platform here and we're going to download the release here. So once this release is downloaded, we're going to double click on openra. And then what we're going to do is to select all of these items and then we're going to move them into the applications folder. We're going to let go here and it's all being copied into the applications folder. Here we're going to double click. If I scroll down to here, what I'd like to be able to do is to open up the Red Alert game. There are also other games as well, for example, Dune 2000 and also Command & Conquer Tiberian Dawn. So for example, if we double click on Dune 2000, I'm gonna click open here. Dune 2000 already has the opportunity for us to do a quick install. This will actually download all of the assets from my mirror on the internet. I'm just gonna do this now just to show you that this game works. And now we have the Dune 2000 original game running in a widescreen aspect ratio on the Mac operating system. And I can easily go ahead and start a game from here. So that's how you get Dune 2000 working. It's a very simple process. Similarly, if we want to get a game like Red Alert working, all we need to do is double click here. And then what the game will do is it will ask us if we want to use our own assets. But if we click this quick install button, it's going to download all of the Red Alert assets from one of their own mirrors. Here we're going to click, here we're going to click quick install. And now we have the Red Alert game connected up here. Here we're going to press the single player missions. So now we have the first mission of the game, which we're just loading up here, and then we're gonna actually go ahead and play. This is the original Tanya. So basically when it comes to game content, from the main menu here, we can click manage content. And the files that we've downloaded are the, the very basic game files themselves. They don't contain some of the flavor, for example, the music, the video briefings that you have at the beginning of every mission, which do add a lot of the flavor and the information about you know, why you're doing a particular mission. What you can do is click the detect disk or installation. And here we can see which of the disks you want to actually install. So I'm gonna alt tab out of this and go to my Chrome browser. And here I just wanna show you, you can actually download some of these files from archive.org. So for example, we're gonna use the original Command & Conquer Red Alert disk. I'm gonna click cd1.iso. So once your ISO file has downloaded, for example, this is the first disk, what you can do is just go ahead and double click on that disk and that will go ahead and mount it on the operating system. What we can do is go back to the menu, click on manage content, and then we can detect disk or installation. And here it's detected that we have the ISO mounted. We're gonna load up the base game music as well as the allied campaign briefings. So just press continue here. So now that that's done, we can actually repeat the process for the Soviet campaign briefings, which is disk two. But anyway, I'm just gonna continue with disk one. So if I show you here, I can go to single player, missions, here I can now go ahead and watch the briefing. So here I press play, and this is the original FMV, which you got with the original disc. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to check out more open source engines that are compatible with the Econ Mac, then please check out my other videos on this channel. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.